FC as we're driving up. With your vote, we will deliver low taxes, low regulations, low energy costs, low interest rates, and low inflation so that everyone can afford groceries, a car, and a home. We will stop immediately the horrific invasion, end migrant crime, support our police, build a missile defense shield all around our country like other countries have. We make them here. It'll all be made right here, and it'll be made also in Michigan, a lot of it. But we're going to have. And Ronald Reagan wanted that many years ago, but the truth is, at that point, we didn't have the technology. Now we have great technology. You see that other countries have it. We don't have it. We're going to have the best of all. We're going to have a missile defense system going to be built in the United States, installed all over and around our country. We're going to restore peace through strength, which is what I did. We had no wars when Donald Trump was president. Now we have nothing but wars. Prime Minister Viktor Orban of Hungary, he said the reason that the world is a mess because Trump is no longer president. When Trump was president, they were afraid of Trump. I don't want to use that term, but he did. He said they were afraid. China was afraid. Putin was afraid. I stopped Putin's pipeline in Europe. I'm sorry, Vladimir. I can't let you do it. I stopped it. It was stopped cold. And then when Biden got in, the first day he approved it, then they said, Trump was weak on Russia. Putin said, if you're weak on us, I'd hate like hell to see if you're strong on us. But the war would have never happened, would have never, ever happened. But Viktor Orban said, you bring back Trump and the whole world is going to be a safer place. We're going to keep critical race theory and transgender insanity out of our schools. We're going to keep men out of women's sports. And we're going to return our society based on merit, which the Supreme Court has given us the right to do, based on merit. We're going to go back to a merit system. If you're good at something, that's what you get. The Supreme Court approved that. That was courageous. We will defend the Second Amendment. We're going to do something that I think is very important. We're going to restore free speech, and we will really, truly restore. We're going to fix our elections so that our elections are going to be honorable and honest, and people leave, and they know their vote is counted. We are going to have free and fair elections, and ideally we go to paper ballots, same-day voting, proof of citizenship, very big, and voter ID. Very simple. Very simple. One day voting. One day. You ever see these things? You know, everyone's talking about November 5th. But forget November 5th. It starts on September 6th in various states, North Carolina, but various states, Delaware. It starts on November 6th. Goes months and months voting. Why are those boxes being moved around? Why are those ballots being moved? Why are they not there? Sure, we're fixing the air conditioning of that particular room. It is so bad. It is so out of control. Everyone under President Trump will prosper. Every family will thrive. And Michigan manufacturing will dominate like never before. You're going to dominate like never before. But for that to happen this election day, you must tell Comrade Kamala, Comrade, you're doing a horrible job. You've been a terrible vice president, a horrible, horrible border czar. You're not a border czar. You're a border patsy. You were played by every country in the world. The worst job we've ever seen, probably the worst vice president we've ever had. He certainly was the worst president. Comrade Kamala, you're fired. Get out of here. You're fired. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's amazing they can have support. I, I don't get it. Who would support somebody that wants open borders? Who would support somebody that wants men in women's sports? You see the boxing in the Olympics? Two transitioned people. They transitioned from men to women, did you see? Fighting a young, beautiful Italian boxer, top boxer. They thought big things from her. And then, bing, I left you up just a jab. She go, whoa, what? I just got hit with a horse. Again, pink. She said, I'm out. She quit. She couldn't take it. Two punches. The second one 
Likewise, got into the ring with a couple of very talented women. Just beat the hell out of them. They both won the gold medal. Shockingly. Are you shocked? You're not shocked, huh? You, in fact, you would have bet everything. You would have bet 100 percent. The odds were pretty good, right? And then you have people like Kamala. How about weightlifting? Weightlifting record set many years ago. They'd put one-eighth of an ounce on each side. 18-year-old record. They go out there. They, they're strong women. They can't quite make it, though. Guy comes out. Have you lifted before? No, no. How do I do it? Just put your hands on the bar and try and lift. You mean like this? Oh. They beat it by, like, hundreds of pounds. The whole thing is crazy. And nobody wants to complain. You know, the women, like the swimmers, they don't like to complain. They're really afraid to complain because they'll be accused of uh, bad things, bad things. But look at the swimmers. They come out, they're Olympic swimmers, and they look left, they look right. They see guys, people that they were growing up with, great swimmers, and then they look over and they see this huge. It was Wilt Chamberlain, but slightly bigger. And she says, well... Look at the size of this person. I don't recognize the person from California, from the California swim groups that I participated in for 10 years before I got to the Olympic trials. And uh, this person blew them away. In fact, it was very sad. They got past so fast. The wind was so tremendous that she suffered wind burns. They had to take her out of the pool. All right. Now we... We joke about very serious subjects. I mean, it's so sad. But really what's sad is that people that would want something like that, and it's so demeaning to women, right? Don't you think it's so demeaning to women? We love women. That's so demeaning to women. Never had anything like it. But you have to watch the fights. It's, it's so – it just says it. It says it so simply. You watch these two fights. It was like they didn't even have to do anything. Olympic gold. They won Olympic gold. They transitioned. So get your friends, get your family, register, volunteer, and get out, and you got to vote. And, Pete, you are doing a great job, by the way. I see you sitting there. You are doing a great job. Pete Hoekstra. I'm glad I remembered to introduce him. I would have been — he would have quit just before the election. I would, he's doing it. We're doing good, right? Yeah, he's a fantastic — he was a great congressman. He was the one we earmarked, right, Mike? We wanted Pete. And uh, I hear you're doing a fantastic job. We appreciate it very much. On November 5th, we will save our economy. We will rescue our middle class. We will put America first, and we will make America great again. We're going to make America greater than ever before. We're going to bring back your car industry. We're not going to just keep it a little bit that you have left. You lost most of your industry. We're going to bring back your car industry. We're going to let them build plants, but they're not building them in Mexico. They're going to build them in the United States of America. And they're going to be fired up by our auto workers. And we're going to bring them back in numbers that nobody can believe, and I can do it so easily. We were all set to do it. And then we had the, the COVID disaster come in from — and we did a great job, never got the credit for it. The ventilators, the therapeutics that we did, the robes, the, the goggles, everything. But — what China did was very bad, very bad. But we're going to bring it all back to this state. You're going to have the greatest state in the world for automaking. You're coming back with automaking because that's what you do and that's what you do best. And a lot of these people, even if it's just job-related, auto worker-related, this is what they want to do. And they want to be here. They don't want to have to move. But you're not going to have any place to move because other jobs are going to be gone, too. They're taking away all our jobs. We're not going to let it happen. We're going to make America great. We're going to make America the production capital, manufacturing capital of the world. And it's going to happen very fast. I hope you're going to go out and vote for me, because honestly, if you don't, our country is finished. Thank you. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you, everybody.